We're here at the State Public Health Labs in Jamaica Plain for a rededication ceremony, a renaming ceremony, as the labs are being renamed after one of the first African American graduates of Harvard Medical School, the son of former slaves. This man, Dr. William Hinton. Sir, I've got to talk to you. You're the you're the grandson yes. of Dr. Hinton. Could I ask your name? Charles Jones. Mr. Jones, I just wonder what your thoughts are on this day. Well, uh, actually, uh, it's, it's hard for me to get it all out, but uh, there are a lot of thoughts. Um, I, I think of my grandfather was, uh, who uh, committed his life to, uh, to a higher, higher cause and subjected you know, this, this, you know, undermined, not undermined, but uh, uh, didn't, didn't, didn't look for personal honors. Uh, you know, he devoted his life to, to the well-being of others, uh, even to the sacrifice of his own reputation, uh, you know, and because he was black, he, he um, uh, kept you know, kept a low profile because he didn't want his science to be affected. You know, and that's a that's a huge price to pay. You know? But he paid it gladly. And, uh, <laughs> well, I can't imagine, as the son of former slaves, at a time when there was so much prejudice. What he, what he was able to accomplish. It's remarkable. Uh, without, without I'm proud of the Commonwealth uh, for the recognition you have given to this extraordinary life and work and example in Dr. Hinton. I'm proud of the legislature for acting on this wonderful idea to rename uh, and, in, and for supporting uh, the laboratory. I'm proud of all of you who work here every day to secure the public health of the people of Massachusetts. And I am proud to acknowledge the legacy of achievement and struggle and the will, the will to overcome that is represented in the life of Dr. Hinton. And so, I and so the state's first African-American governor is here to pay tribute to an African-American pioneer in the field of public health. And so we say goodbye to what is now the William Hinton State Laboratory. From Jamaica Plain, Carl Stevens, WBZ News Radio, 1030.